Hello and welcome to the Paul Scherrer Institute here at the Center for Proton Therapy. My name is Martin Grossmann. I'm working as a physicist here for more than 25 years in the Center for Proton Therapy. At our center, we treat each year more than 500 patients with radiotherapy. Conventional radiotherapy that is applied in many hospitals uses X-rays to treat cancer. In contrast, we don't use X-rays here, we use uh, proton beams. Now, proton beams require bigger and more complicated machines, but they have an advantage. The precision is better than in the conventional radiotherapy. This precision is not required for all kinds of tumors, but for those cases where such precision is important, protons have a clear advantage. So, please follow me on a tour of our center. On this uh, picture, we have an overview of our facility. Uh, to give you the scale, this is approximately 50 meters of distance. In one corner of this uh, building, we have the source of the proton beams. This is our accelerator, where we bring uh, protons to a high speed that can be used uh, to treat patients. The proton beam can be directed with magnets into different treatment rooms, like a light beam can be directed with mirrors and lenses. And we have four different treatment rooms. This room here is uh, the Gantry 1 treatment room. It's a, a PSI development, and actually this machine was the first in the world to implement the magnetic pencil beam scanning to adapt the dose distribution to the form of the tumor. It has been in clinical operation since uh, 1996 until 2018, and nowadays it is still in use, but only for biological experiments. A few years after Gantry 1, we have built a second Gantry 2, which is uh, the PSI development based on our experiments, experience with the first uh, treatment Gantry. <coughs> it has a lot of improvements. Some improvements concern the patient workflow uh, and the accessibility of the patient during the treatment, but there are also a number of technical uh, improvements. We have a smaller beam size, so this gives an even better precision of the proton treatment. We have a faster scanning, and this gain in speed allows us uh, to treat more indications than we can do on the first gantry. Uh, the keyword here is uh, organ motion. It's possible to compensate organ motion of tumors in the, the lung, for example. That cannot be treated on gantry one. Gantry 2 is in clinical operation since 2013 and uh, we are treating these moving uh, targets on Gantry 2. We have a third Gantry, Gantry 3, which is the result of a research collaboration between PSI and an industrial vendor, Varian. Um, the, uh, uh, it combines the technology of uh, Varian with uh, PSI's own uh, the technological developments. For example, we have implemented here fast energy changes, which is PSI technology, and this enables uh, the treatment of uh, moving targets also on Gantry 3. A fourth treatment room is uh, a bit simpler and it is dedicated to the treatments of eye tumors. On this facility, we have treated more than 7,000 patients uh, with a very high success rate. This is the control room where during clinical operations uh, two radiation technologists oversee the correct application of uh, the treatment. We have a lot of computer monitors, some here for the imaging systems. Then on this side we have uh, computer monitors for the therapy control system, for the safety system, mm -hmm. and uh, status display of the accelerator. And important, we have video coverage of the treatment room, so at any time we can see if the patient is okay, we can communicate with the patients via microphones and loudspeakers. Here we are in the treatment room Gantry 2, PSI's second generation Gantry. The patient enters from outside, uh, we position on the table a patient bed that is adapted to the form of the patient body. 
And then the next machine we use here is our computer tomograph, the CT. It has two functions. One is in the preparation of the treatment, we take a full scan of the target region, which is the basis for the plan, the therapy plan. And uh, the second function is that every treatment day, uh, we verify that the position of the patient on the couch is exactly as on the treatment day. When this positioning check has passed, we move uh, the patient with the couch in the treatment position. This could be the start position for the treatment. The proton beam is coming in this uh, uh, orientation from the top onto the patient. During the treatment, there is none of our personnel in the treatment room. It's all controlled from a control room outside. The typical treatment time is a couple of minutes. Uh, the patient does not feel anything from the radiation. Also, there are no loud noises uh, during the treatment in the treatment room. What we most do most of the time is that we combine different incident angles to get a concentration of the dose in the crossing point. And for this, it is possible to rotate the gantry around the patient. Gantry 2 is in clinical operation since uh, 2013. Uh, in parallel to the clinical operation, we continue to develop our scanning technology and uh, take advantage of the technical potential of Gantry 2. And this is possible in a laboratory like uh, PSI, that we can have at the same time clinical operation and do the technological development. This is something which is much more difficult in a hospital. What we see in the treatment room is only a small part of the gantry, so I would like to invite you to take a look behind this door. This is the connection of the proton beam from the accelerator to our gantry. The proton beam is produced about 30 meters behind you and is transported through vacuum pipes controlled by magnets to here the treatment room. We have at this point a small distance of 20 centimeters where the protons travel through air we have installed measurement instruments to check uh, the beam position and intensity. And from this point on, the propagandry starts, which is a continuation of the beam line with a vacuum pipe with magnets, which is able to rotate around the patient, as we have seen in the treatment room. Here we are on top of gantry two. We see the gantry beamline, the large magnets, and the supporting structure that is directing the proton beam out of the original axis, on top, again parallel to the axis, and in the treatment room coming from above onto the patient. The advantage of proton therapy is the high precision. Now, in child patients, this precision is even more important than in adults. So about one third of the patients that we treat at PSI are small children. Uh, in order to avoid the movement of our child patients, they have to be treated in anesthesia, which we do together with the anesthesia team of the Zurich Children's Hospital. The anesthesia is prepared here while the parents are still present and once the child is asleep, 
we bring the child into the treatment room and treat it just like we treat the adult patients. At the end of the treatment, the child is brought back and just in the room next to us, we have the recovery room where the children, again in the presence of their parents, can wake up. This is the hall where the accelerator, the beam lines and the gantries are installed. We have over there gantry one, we have over here gantry two. We cannot see the treatment rooms from here because they are all covered uh, under concrete slabs for radio protection. But what we can see here is the infrastructure that is required to run a, a proton therapy facility. And if we walk along here, we have cabinets here that house the power supplies of the magnets which are installed along the beam lines. We have control systems for the patient positioning. We have more magnet power supplies. The cabinets here contain control and safety electronics. The cyclotron is just behind this wall. So what we see here are the radio frequency generators that pump the energy into the proton beam in the accelerator. and the main controls of our proton cyclotron. When the cyclotron is in operation, it is not possible to go inside and visit it because of radiation protection reasons. But uh, today is a maintenance day and the cyclotron is switched off, so this is our chance to go inside and take a look at the cyclotron. So this is the cyclotron comet, the source of our proton beam. The protons get accelerated to a high speed inside this cylinder. We can see here the point where the proton beam exits the cyclotron and goes into the direction of the treatment room. And to give you a little bit more explanation about the cyclotron, let's climb upstairs. The protons start their journey in the center of the cyclotron. Rapidly changing electrical fields make the protons go faster and faster. Under the big blue ring that we see here is a strong magnet that forces the protons on circular tracks. This magnet is a superconducting magnet. It is an electromagnet. There's a coil which floats in liquid helium at a temperature of minus 270 degrees centigrade. And we can see here the cryostat where we feed the liquid helium into the cyclotron. As the protons get faster and faster, the circular tracks become wider and wider. And eventually, the protons reach the edge of the cyclotron and this is where we extract the proton beam and send it here into the beam line toward the treatment rooms. Right here, a few meters outside of the cyclotron, we can see the degrader. The degrader adjusts the proton energy so that uh, it's, uh, it's according to the clinical needs. Carbon wedges are driven into the beam line to reduce the proton speed so that they reach exactly the tumor 
inside the patient. Reducing the proton energy results in the degrader becoming quite activated and so we need a heavy lead shielding to protect us from the radiative radiation even with the accelerator switched off like now. After the degrader the protons have exactly the right speed and we can send the beam from here towards the treatment room. This is the end of our visit of the Center for Proton Therapy. Thank you very much for your interest. And if you would like to know more, we are very happy to welcome you for a personal visit here at Paul Scherer Institute.